Starting today, there's a new juvenile justice policy in the city of San Francisco. It involves teenagers being tried as adults in specific instances. Crown Force Zeke Medun has that story. I take charging juveniles as adults extremely seriously. I hope to never have to be in a position where we even have to make that decision. But if that time comes, San Francisco District Attorney Brooke Jenkins will use a new juvenile justice policy for 16 and 17 year olds who are accused of committing the following crimes. Murder and attempted murder, sexual assault, torture, kidnapping, and aggravated mayhem. If they are accused of committing a heinous crime or a crime that shocks the conscience of the community. In those situations, the DA says her newly formed juvenile review team will collaborate with the defense lawyer, the defendant's family, and the victim's family. To make a recommendation to me for the ultimate consideration on whether or not we should seek to charge that juvenile as an adult. Well, adult prosecution of children has always been applied in a racist way. Black and Latino youth are significantly more likely to be prosecuted as adults than their white peers. The director of the criminal justice program at the ACLU of Northern California, Yoel Haile, is opposed to the DA's new juvenile justice policy and cites statistics from this joint study by the Burns Institute, the Center for Juvenile Justice and Criminal Justice, and the National Center for Youth Law on youth prosecuted as adults in California. And of the 11 young people who were, whose cases were transferred to adult court in San Francisco from 2006 to 2016, six were black, three were Latino, and none of them were white. However, the DA says she is well aware of the data on black and brown youth in the criminal justice system. One thing that I do recognize as a black and Latino woman is the disproportionate impacts that the juvenile justice system has had on children of color. District Attorney Brooke Jenkins says that she consulted with community stakeholders in the formation of the new juvenile justice policy. But when I asked the DA spokesperson for the names of the people she consulted with, I was told that information must remain confidential. In San Francisco, Hazik Medyun, Cron 4 News.